Hey, what's going on guys, Blues here. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best items to use in update nine. I'm gonna show you the best stamina, the best health, and the best overall, in my opinion. I have gone through all of these and tested pretty much everything. So if you guys think you can switch out any of these for any other things, just leave a comment and just let me know. But I am pretty sure that these are going to be the best items in update nine. So if you guys find this helpful, make sure you drop a like and a sub, go join the Discord. I'm doing a few giveaways over on there and I appreciate if you guys would. And I've just made a crew, so currently, we're really high up on the crew leaderboard. We are number 29. So if you guys want to join, you can get the A sword and we're looking for members. So yeah. All right, let's get into the video. So really quick, what I want to say is that these two items here are going to be in every single one of these loadouts. All of these outfits are going to be in these two items because they're the only ones of their slot. So Bat Swarm, you just get from Thriller Bark. It's a boss drop. It's fairly cheap if you just want to trade for it. And we have Cupid Headband. This it was a limited item and you can't get it anymore. But if you want to trade for it, it does cost quite a bit. But as you can see, it gives a lot. You get five stamina regen and 35 extra health. So it is really worth getting these. So first off, we're going to do the health outfit for people that want to do like PvP, boss grind, stuff like that. This is really good for keeping your health really high. So first off, what you're going to need is Shiryu's hat. This is a new one in update 9. You get this from Mimpel Down from getting points and just spending it. So Shiryu's hat is going to be the first one. So the next one we have is the Ball Outfit. So this one is dropped from the Halloween event. So you want to get this one. As you can see, it's an epic. It doesn't look very good. But as soon as you put it on, 5 health regen and a lot of HP. This is very, very good for health outfit. This is going to be the most vital part. So make sure you get this. It's fairly cheap too. So what we have else is we have Don Mingo's glasses. So if you type in shades, it should just come up. And right there, we have Moria's necklace. This one you get from Thriller Bark, Moria Boss, fairly cheap as well. Um, next one we have is a limited item. This one does cost quite a bit now, which is the Cupid Queen's wings. This gives a lot of health regen as well. Um, the anniversary lantern is going to be something else. This is the best lantern in the game. So as soon as you get this, you're pretty much set for every single one you're ever going to do. So we need more lanterns, but yeah, the, right now this is going to be the best one. So what we have next is we have the cupid headband, showed you guys earlier. And the next thing you're going to need is Captain Zen Cape. So I'm sure many of you guys know what this is. It gives a lot of health regen. And this is going to be your health outfit. So pretty much all these items equals out to having a decent amount. So what we have here is we have 535 extra health, 14.5 health regen, and 8 stamina regen. So that's going to be the build for all your health outfits. So yep, just go through these. If you missed any, just go back and watch. And it should just be fairly easy to keep track of what you need. So yeah, um, we'll get into the next one. So for this one, again, have these two items back to normal. So stamina outfit, this one is going to be forced your stamina. This works really well with things like Tori or if you struggle in PvP with keeping your stamina really high. This is going to be fairly good. So stamina outfit is more of a PvE build, just so you never really run out of like, uh, you know, stamina while you're attacking stuff. Especially you can put a lot of points into like fruit and stuff where you can pretty much spam all your abilities and never run out of stamina. So first off, what we're going to start off with is Domingo Shades. So type in Shades. You get this again from the boss over in Thriller Bark. So we'll put those on. Then we have Domingo's Outfit. So this gives you a really good amount of regen. So we have right there. 11 stamina regen already. Very, very good. Uh, Bat Swarm. So if you guys haven't already, just get the Bat Swarm. So very easy. Uh, we have the Tomoe Drums. So this gives a decent amount of stamina, especially since it replaces wings and stuff. This is a lot easier to get. You get this from Anel in First C, and you can trade for this fairly easily. But if you just want to grind it out, he's not that hard to kill. So what we have next is Don Mingo's Cape. So Don Mingo's Cape gives a decent amount. It gives two. So as you know, we already have 15 stamina regen. Then you want to use Shiryu's Hat. This one you get from Impel Down, claiming it for points. And we have Don Mingo's Shades. Already did all those. So we have Mario's Necklace. Um, right there. Anniversary Lantern. So type in Anniversary. This one is another limited one. And then Cupid Headband. So this here is going to be the best one for yours. So we have 590 extra HP, 3.5 health regen, 17 stamina regen. Very, very high. So yeah insane amount of stamina regen you're pretty much never going to run out so 
yeah okay that's gonna be for the stamina outfit so this in my opinion the next one is going to be the best one so let's get into that so for this one i believe is going to be the best overall outfit for pretty much everything you're doing you don't have to change you can do whatever you want change your stats but this will stay the same in my opinion i think this is going to be the best one i've gone through and tested pretty much everything so if you guys want to follow this tutorial it actually is fairly decent for the stuff so I'm going to go through a very slow thing and make sure you guys know exactly what you're getting. So we have Shiryu's hat. So Shiryu's hat, you get it from Impel Down. It's a decent amount of points, but you can pretty much get it every single run. Okay, right there. Then we have a ball outfit. So the ball outfit is a epic. Um, I showed you guys earlier. If you guys are just skipping to this part, we have the balls outfit, which is an epic. It looks like it's actually fairly bad, but as you can see, gives five health regen it's actually the best armor in the game right now so what next we have is don mingo shades so just type shades um right there very very easy you get this from a boss in second c by killing don mingo so equip those um what we have next is moria's necklace so moria's necklace is going to be a vital part because it pretty much just takes up the best slot for necklace um, next we have is Shiryu's cape. This is going to be another one from Impel Down. So if you guys want to just go to Impel Down, make sure you get these two items. Uh, we have the Anniversary Lantern, which is a limited time thing. This is the best item for Lantern, so... And then we have Cupid Headband, so make sure you guys have that. We have Bat Swarm, and then the last thing, this is going to be up to you whether or not which one you want to choose or whether or not which one you actually have. So I believe that the new item, the True Balls Guard, is actually going to be the best item. Because as you can see, it gives you a 10% damage reduction and 50 HP for extra health. So yeah, very, very good. Right here, it gives you pretty much an extra 10% HP on top of what you already have. So the more health you have, the better this is going to work. So this is going to work with very, very tanky builds. So the other thing is Cupid Wings. So Cupid Wings we have here is going to be the other option. So as you can see, it gives you a lot of health regen, more HP, but I just believe that the true ball is just a better. So yeah, you kind of look end up looking a bit weird at the end of this, but I do believe it's actually the best one in the game. So as you can see, you've got the cape, you've got this thing, which gives a lot of particle effects. And yeah, this is pretty much going to be it for the best accessory build. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, uh, again, make sure you drop a like and a sub. Go check out my other videos and join the Discord. I recently created a crew, and if any of you guys want to join, go join that. And we'll be doing some giveaways and stuff. So yeah, if you guys just want to join, play with me, do all that. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. I'm pretty much going to be focusing on doing most max damage stuff. If you guys at the end of this, like got to this point, want to see more max damage videos with like the new update with all the balance changes with like Mera, Tori, all this stuff. Uh, just let me know. Tell me which fruits you want to see and I'll make sure to go through all of them as much as I can. And if any of you guys want to see like stat caps and stuff, I can try and do that. Especially with Buddha, I kind of just want to figure out what the best stat caps are myself. And yeah, um, just want to kind of help out a lot of the people that are trying to find the best stuff for their stats. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Find us helpful. Drop a like and a sub. And I'll probably do one of these next update. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.